I'd like to do a demonstration for you of Newton's first law. Here we go. And there it was. Newton's first law says that if there's no net force acting on an object, it won't accelerate. So the glass, for example, had no net force acting on it, and it did not accelerate. You saw it happen. Sorry to disappoint, but Newton's first law is, in my opinion, a bit of a boring law. It basically says, if nothing happens, nothing's going to happen. No net force, no acceleration. Now, pulling a tablecloth out from underneath the dishes, in my opinion, is a little bit misguided if you're trying to demonstrate Newton's first law. Because if you pull the tablecloth out from underneath the dishes, there will be a net force acting on the objects while the cloth is being pulled out. They will accelerate. Now, of course, the trick works if it's done well, because the net force is a little bit rigged to not last very long. If you don't push very long, the acceleration won't last very long. And so, with a little bit of luck, they won't move enough to fall off the table or to tip over. Let's see if I can do the demonstration, but let's get our physics straight. Newton's first law is happening right now. Newton's second law will kick in while the cloth is being pulled out from underneath the dishes, and we'll be back to Newton's first law once it's all settled down. So let's give it a try. Perfect. So again, Newton's first law, if there's no net force acting on an object, it doesn't accelerate. All right, to further make sense of Newton's first law and the tablecloth demonstration, I built a simulation of it. So I've got a table on top of which is a tablecloth. It's very skinny, but it's there. And I've set three objects on it that I'll think of as the dishes that would be on the table. Now, I've also got a speed control here. Whatever number I put in here, that's how fast the tablecloth will be pulled out to the right when the simulation is run. I also have a stopwatch in here just to keep track of time. So right now, the speed is set at zero. So if I run the simulation, it is actually working right now, and nothing's happening. This is Newton's first law, or at least one example of it. There's no net force on anything. There's no acceleration of anything. Rather boring demonstration, but again, Newton's first law is a boring law. All right, let's, uh, let's run it one more time. This time, I'm going to put in a speed of five meters per second, which is a rather slow speed. Now, I didn't really build these objects to any true-to-life scale here, so I'll just suggest that five meters per second is too slow uh, for this to work well. It's uh, going gonna, gonna to be a catastrophic failure, in fact. Press run, and there we go. Yep. So our, our tall object completely tipped over. The other two objects fell down and crashed down to the floor. We're going to have to sweep that up later. All right. What happened? Why didn't this work? Well, again, when the tablecloth got pulled out to the right, there was a force of friction acting on each of these objects. The force of friction was acting to the right because the lower surface, the surface on which they rested, was moving to the right. So friction pulled them to the right. Have a, have a look again at this tall, skinny object. If you pull the bottom of it, it could tip over, and in fact does. So watch this object tip over when I run the simulation. Yep, the force pulled the bottom of it to the right, and it was enough to knock it right over. If I run the simulation this time, we notably watch this object. As the tablecloth is pulled out from underneath it, it goes faster, 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 due to that force of friction pulling it to the right. There is friction acting on the table, but not enough to stop it before it goes over the edge. Same thing with the circle object. It actually got pulled out. It actually starts to roll. It's kind of neat. If you watch it, it'll actually roll backwards, but it's not enough to offset the fact that it's going to the right. So here it goes. It rolls backwards, but it doesn't matter. It goes to the right, off and down over the edge. So how could we make this work? Well, the easiest way would be to pull the tablecloth faster. So I'll dial in 50 meters per second, which is, in my opinion, way too fast to be realistic for pulling a tablecloth out with your hands. But it's a simulation, and I found that this number worked well. So if I run the simulation again, 50 meters per second, there it goes. The tablecloth is long gone. And our taller object had a little bit of a wobble to it because there was a force that acted. And it did accelerate it, but in this case, not enough to tip it over. And our other objects also are mostly in place. You can see that they did move a little bit, okay? Just not enough to really cause a problem. And that's the tablecloth trick, Newton's first law. No net force, no acceleration, but if there is a net force, there is an acceleration.